Reflexive verbs. Reflexive in the verb means that whoever is doing the action is also receiving the action. In other words, if somebody's doing something to themselves, in Spanish you use a reflexive verb. Now, to recognize a reflexive verb, you simply have to look for the say at the end. Secarse. Secarse means to dry oneself. So any verb with a say at the end is a reflexive verb. Now, in order to conjugate reflexive verbs correctly, right, we have to understand reflexive pronouns, right? So, reflexive pronouns are what the say turns into, okay, when you conjugate it. So, in secarse, to dry oneself, if you're going to say, I am doing it, you would say, me, me goes with yo, te goes with tu, se goes with el, and ella, or any third person singular, nos obviously is with nosotros, or nosotras, and se goes with ellos, ellas, and ustedes. Now, notice that the reflexive pronoun for el and ella is the same reflexive pronoun for ellos, ellas, and ustedes. Now, notice that the Reflexive pronoun for el and ella, se, is the same reflexive pronoun for ellos, ellas, and ustedes, se. In order to conjugate a reflexive verb, the first thing you do is you move the reflexive pronoun in front of the verb. And then you conjugate it like any other verb, whether it's ar, er, ir, you conjugate it the same way. So, in the yo form... It would be me seco. And in the two form, it would be te secas. In the el, ella, and usted form, it would be se seca. In the nosotros and nosotras form, it would be nos secamos. And in the ellos, ellas, and ustedes form, it would be se secan. Now, Look at the endings. The reflexive verb conjugated exactly like an AR verb is going to conjugate. So it's me seco. In the yo form, it's always o. O, as, a, amos, an. Tu, as. L, a, usted, se seca. Nosotros, nos secamos. And ellos, ellas, and ustedes, se secan. The endings are the same. Now, some reflexive verbs also are used in non-reflexive ways. All right? So, for example, lavarse is also lavar. It's reflexive when you say something like te lavas La cara. You wash your face. But it's not reflexive if you're washing a car. So, 
lavas el coche. That is not reflexive. It's only reflexive again if the action is being done to the person doing the action. When reflexive verbs follow conjugated verbs, you can conjugate them in one of two ways. We're going to use vestirse uh, to dress oneself as the example. So I can say either me voy a vestir or voy a vestirme. Now look at the location of the subject or the reflexive pronoun. Me and me. You can either put it before the conjugated verb, me voy a vestir, or you can put it at the end of the infinitive, voy a vestirme. Both ways are correct. Choose the one that's most comfortable to you. I've posted this video to YouTube so that my students can watch it as many times as they need to in order to grasp and understand these concepts. However, if you have a question for me, you can always reach me at Senor Denim.